no need for uh, confirmation, no need for catechism, no need for concilio and praying the rosary, no. and carrying uh, graven images. No. Just admit that we are sinners, and that's it. God will immediately forgive our sins and will bring us to heaven after death. Amen? Palapak natin ang Panginoon. Alam mo kung magkaminsan, yung tayo ay pa-review, di ba masakit? Di ba yung mapansin yung mga pagkakamali natin, di ba masakit? Di ba? Pero alam mo, ang pinakamakit na magagawa natin, aminin lang na tayo nagkakali eh. No? Ganun yan, aminin lang natin na tayo nagkulang, na tayo nagkamali. Alam mo, ang Diyos, hanggang niya tayong patawarin. God will, God will immediately forgive us no matter how great our sins are. If we will confess our sins to God before God, God will immediately forgive us. In the book of 1 John, chapter 1, verse 9 says, 1 John 1, 9 says, no, Anong sabi ganoon? Pwede mo bang itype yun, Israel Elma? Yan. Yan. Verse John, chapter 1, verse 9. Shall we read? No. If we are saying that we are, that we have no sin, we are big liars. If we are saying that we, we have no sins, we are big liars. But, if we confess, our sins before God. No? He is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all our unrighteousness. First John chapter 1 verse 8 says, If we are saying that we are not sinners or we don't have sins, we are big liars. But the Bible says in First John chapter 1 verse 9, If we confess our sins, he is faithful, that is being faithful, and just, and will forgive us our sins, and cleanse or purify us from all unrighteousness. Nakikinig po ba tayo? If we confess our sins, He is faithful, the Lord Jesus Christ is faithful, and just, and will forgive us our sins, and purify us from all our unrighteousness. Yun ang ginawa, na tax collector nakikinig ko ba tayo inamin niya yung pagkakamali niya In inamin niya Lord forgive me have mercy on me the tax collector said have mercy on me I am a sinner yan lang ang dapat natin gawin eh, para pumasok ng langit eh. pagka yung nagkasalan nagpul nagkamali tayo yun lang gagawin natin eh Ito pa ho ba rito? You know, we must not cover our sins. We must not hide our sins. We must not cover our sins. But rather, admit, accept. Now, immediately our sins before God. Confess immediately our sins before God. And God will immediately forgive us. The Bible says, He is faithful. Faithful. No? and yes and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all our unrighteousness if you are forgiven then you are Christian a born again Christian no? those who receive forgiveness are called born again Christians God gives us new life new heart no no the Holy Spirit lives in us no? to lead us into righteousness. No? Nakikinig po po ba tayo? Amen. Palapakan natin si Lord. Kaya alam ninyo, kaawa-awa ang maraming tao. Kaawa-awa ang maraming tao. Hindi papasok ng langit sapagat hindi nila alam ang daan patungo ng langit. Many people are dying and they are going to hell. Because they do not know the right path to heaven. The right way to heaven. Jesus said in John 14.6, I am the way, 
the truth and the life, and no one can come to the Father except by me. There's only one way to go to heaven, to reach heaven, and that is the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ died on the cross of the Calvary. He paid the penalty of sins. He paid on the cross of the Calvary almost 2,000 years ago. Jesus Christ died on the cross of the Calvary. He died for our sins. What we gotta do is to accept that we are sinners and accept Jesus Christ as our Lord God and Savior. Presto, we will go to heaven. Kaya nakakaawa, nakakaawa ang marami niyong classmates. Nakakaawa ang marami niyong kapitbahay. Nakakaawa ang marami niyong kaibigan. Nakakaawa ang marami niyong mga mahal sa buhay. Hindi nila alam kung paano papasok ng langit. Amen! Pero tayo alam na alam natin kung paano papasok ng langit. Amen! John 14, 6 says, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one can come to the Father except by me. No? Acts chapter 4 verse 12 Acts chapter 4 verse 12 There is no other name but the name of Jesus given under heaven that we might that we must be saved There is no other name but the, only the name of Jesus given under heaven that whereby men must be saved Nakikinig ko ba tayo? Wala ibang pangalan ay binigay ang Diyos sa mundong ibago na ito para tayo maligtas Amen. It's not the name of Eli Soriano. It's not the name of Manalo. Including Jose Manalo. It's not the name of Muhammad. It's not the name of Buddha. It's not the name of anybody. But it's the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says in Philippians chapter 2, verse 9 to 11. Philippians 2, 9 to 11. Every knee should bow. Every time confess that Jesus Christ is Lord for the glory of God the Father. We must kneel down before Jesus. We must confess that Jesus is Lord of our life. To glorify God in heaven. Romans 10.9 says, Romans 10.9 says, If you will confess by your mouth, from your heart, that Jesus is your Lord, then you will be saved. Amen? Kung ipapahayag mo ng iyong bibig, kaling sa iyong puso, na si Jesus ang Panginoon, ikaw ay manalitas. Amen? Palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. Ang dali-dali maligtas eh, di ba? Maliwanag ba yun? Ang dali-dali maligtas. Ang dali-dali pumasok ng langit. Ang dali-dali ma-restore. It's easy to be saved. It's easy to be restored if you are a backslider. It's easy to be forgiven. Just say sorry to God. God, sorry. Forgive me. I did fail you. Forgive me. Ito ang pahubo rito. Then God will forgive you. Hello? Do you want to be saved? Do you want to be restored? Admit your fault. Admit your mistake. Admit your sin. Do not hide it. Do not cover it. Do not justify yourself by your own justification. Let God justify you. And you will be justified if you will admit that you are a sinner. Mapapawalang sala ka, Romans 5.1. Romans 5.1, mapapawalang sala ka kapag inamin mo may ikaw ay mga salanan. Amen? You will be justified, Romans 5.1 says, no? if you will, you will admit that you are a sinner before God, you will justify but through your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Nakikinig pa po ba tayo? Alam mo ba na kapag ikaw ay nasa kasnanan, wala kang kapayapaan? Alam mo ba yun? If you are living in sin, you have no peace in your heart. Yes. Full of worry, full of doubt, full of unbelief, full of fear. If you are living in sin. What? If you are living right before God, you have peace in your heart. Merong kapayapaan. Ipitaw e, ako ka rito. Kapag ikaw ay makasalanan, 
Puno-puno ka ng pagkalala, puno-puno ka ng takot, puno-puno ka ng aba. Tama? Pero pag ikaw ay ayos sa harapan ng Diyos, puno-puno ka ng kapayapaan. Di ba? Sino ba yung mga gugnuti? Yung wala sa Diyos. Laging magagalitin, laging nakaangin. Lahat ang nagdidiskitahan, pati pusa ang nagdidiskitahan. Yung konting kibot, nakaangin. Di ba? Yung mga lagi nakaangin, mga gugnuti, na nasa kasalanan yan eh. No? Nakikinig po ho ba tayo? Sa loob ng tahanan ninyo, eh kung sino yung mga bugnuti, mga palaaway, bumangir at bumangiro, mga hindi maintindihan yung mga ano, yun yung mga nasa kasalanan. No? If you are living in sin, you are full of confusion. Yes! Full of confusion if you are living in sin. You are, you are always confused. Confused with so many things. Bothered with so many things. Worrying about many things. But if you are living right before God, you have peace. Amen. Merong kapayapaan. Amen. Can we give the Lord the best love of praise? Alam mo, yung mga nasa kapayapaan, parang yan yung mga walang paki. Bakit kanya? Parang wala kang pakialam. No? Parang ka, pa, uh, parang ang feeling carefree ka, it seems that you are feeling carefree. The reason, it's because you are living right before God. If you are living right before God, you have peace in your heart. Amen? The Bible says, Be still and know that I am God. Manahimik ka at malaman mo na merong Diyos. Kaya gusto kong sabihin sa lahat, masarap talaga ang may Diyos. Yes! Masarap ang may Diyos. It's nice to have Jesus in your heart. Because if you have Jesus in your heart, then you have peace of mind. Beautiful bed can be bought. Delicious food can be bought. Beautiful dress can be bought. Beautiful cars can be bought. But you cannot go to the department store and buy peace of mind. Yes. No department stores in 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 earth selling peace of mind. Only Jesus can give you. Peace of mind. The reason why people continually say bad words is because they don't have Jesus in their hearts. They have no peace of mind. You know the reason why people are taking cigarettes, cocaine, marijuana, and shabu, and other uh, liquors, and, uh, alcohols, and other cigars and cigarettes, no, the pe people are taking all these things. You know why? Because they don't have peace. Yes. But if you have peace in your heart, no need to take cigarettes. Amen? No need to take cocaine and marijuana and shibu. No need to take alcohol. Even, even a small amount of alcohol, I tell you. You know, many Christians drink a small amount of alcohol. According to them, according to them, is it, it is okay to drink a small amount of alcohol? It, it is okay, they, they are saying, it's okay to drink a amount of alcohol. But I tell you, a small amount of alcohol or big amount of alcohol is still an alcohol. <laughs> right? Agree with me? Ito ho ba rito? Pag ganyan na yung magaling na makinig naman sa English ko eh, isasama ko kayo pagpunta ko sa ibang bansa. Kaya yeah. yeah, wala pa ka natin si Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Kaya pa ka natin si Lord. I've got joy like a river. I've got joy like a river. 
river in my heart, in my heart, I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my life, in my life. I got smile on my face. I got smile on my face because Jesus is in my heart. Who is in your heart? Are you in relationship? Yes, with Jesus. It's not complicated, I tell you. You are in relationship with Jesus. So you have to take that relationship. Because it is a sacred relationship. It's a it's divine relationship. You are in relationship with Jesus. Amen? What is your status? In relationship with Jesus. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, in love with Jesus. Say to yourself, I am in love with Jesus. <laughs> Jesus is my first love. And my last love. Jesus is my inspiration. <laughs> the Bible says, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and might. Deuteronomy 6.5 says, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and might. Mahalin mo ang Panginoon, buong puso, buong isip, buong lakas, at buong kaluluwa. Mateo 6.5. Hero is right on the Lord thy God is one God. Hero one God. There is only one God. But as three divine, distinct personalities. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And these three are one. First John 5, 7 says, First John 5, 7 says, there are three that be records in heaven. The Father, that is Jehovah, the Word, and that is the Jesus, that is Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. And these three are one. First John chapter 5, verse 7. Ito ang mahukong rito. Gumagaling na talaga yung English ko ha. Ang bihira. Walang practice na nakatandrot eh. Ay ngayon, praktisado na rin eh. Praise God. <laughs> Kulang lang sa hasa yun eh. Pero pag nahasa yan, bigit daw yan. Grabe, hindi mo ba alam. Pagkating ito, yung estudyante ako, kasi ito yung mape. <laughs> mape. <laughs> kasi yung mape. Okay, manapakan natin si Lord. Okay. Anong, anong next, Sister Ibo? Anong next? What's next? Oh. Micah 6.8 says, Micah 6.8, He has shown you, O mortal man, what is good. He has shown you, O mortal man, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? He has shown you, O man, including woman, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? To act justly, and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. Just man, just means being fair to all people. Be fair to all people. You know, the, Pilip the, Pilipino the Filipino people are very happy nowadays because many have coming from other nations. Help from other nations are coming in the Philippines. From, uh, from Russia, right? From Israel, from America, from uh, Germany. Praise God. Hindi ko naman pinagmamalaki. I'm not posting myself. No. We've already sent relief goods to Taglawan. Yes. We've already sent the relief goods to Taglawan. Yes. We are poor. But uh, many people are poorer than us. So, so what we did last week? No. We sent the relief goods to those who are affected by Typhoon Ayan. That is the international name of Typhoon Yolanda. You know, many people are criticizing our government. They are criticizing the, the mistakes and shortcomings of our government. And yet, they are not doing their part. Nagikinig mo ba tayo? Tingin kayo sa akin. Tingin kayo sa akin. Ilagay mo ito sa mga sayings natin. Pag nakita mo ang pagkakamali nila, ano man ang mali nila, ikaw na ang pumuno ng pagkakamali nila. Amen?
Baptist Fellowship, ikaw na ang pumunok. Amen? Hindi, meron kami hindi na pumuntahan, ikaw na ang pumunta. Meron kami hindi na bibisita, ikaw na ang pumisita. Meron kami hindi na tatawagan, ikaw na ang tumawag. Meron kami hindi na i-evangelize, ikaw na mag-evangelize. Amen? Hindi kita natawagan, ako na ang tawagan mo. Amen? Nagiginig pa ho ba tayo? It's easy to, to criticize. It's, it's easy to see the shortcomings and mistakes of, uh, of some. But you know, it won't help. Hindi yun makakatulong. It won't help. What we gotta do is to help its others. Nagiginig pa ho ba tayo? Magtulungan tayo. Amen? May tao pa ho ba rito? Pagdating nyo rin, nakita nyo, madumi yung upuan. Huwag ka na umangal. Diba? Kumuha ka ng tissue punasan mo. Amen po ba? Pagdating mo rin, may nakita kang mga dumi dyan. Balat ng kente na nasa itali. Ang gawin mo, damputin mo na. Ikaw na tumumput. Munting basura, ibulsa mo na. E tao pa ho pa rito. Ganun ang gawin natin. Sa loob ng inyong tahanan, maliban kayo ay natuturohan. Tama? You know, pinpointing to others, blaming others with what help. What we gotta do is to help each other. We must not only see the mistakes and shortcomings of others, but uh, let us uh, volunteer ourselves. What help can I render? What help can I give? Nagiginig pa ho ba tayo? Amen po ba? We will be celebrating our church anniversary on December 21. And we are planning to, to, to get big plates. And of course, if we are... If we will get big plates, it means it is expensive, right? Of course, the place that we are going to get must be accessible to all. Ay, tindihan niya ba yung English ko? Hira, pag nagtagalog ako, hindi niya makintindihan. Pag nag-English ako, hirap naman kayo makaintindi. Nakakagawin natin Tagalog-English. Nakikinig ko mo ba tayo? This coming December 21, let me say it first in English, okay? It's okay? It's coming December 21, we're going to celebrate, to, to, to celebrate our church anniversary. And we are going to get big place, of course. Accessible to all, with the many parking areas, of course. No. And of course, it is, it is expensive. If, if it is in the heart of the city, of course it is expensive, right? And we, are, we will occupy that place for not just two hours, uh, probably, perhaps, most probably to the minimum is four hours, right? Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? And you must give before the anniversary comes. Give the best giving that you can offer to the church for God. Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? Yes. Don't just give but give with a willing heart and give the best giving. Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? Tagalogin ko. No? Sa Desyembre 21, pagtarahos ang ating anagansaryo. Kukuha tayo ng malaking lugar. No? I-occupy natin ng mahabang oras. Accessible sa lahat. May maraming parking area. Natural mahal yun. Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? I-occupy natin ng mahabang oras at gusto kong hamunin kayong lahat. Don't just listen. Act. Faith is a fact, but faith is a act. Now, napapakinggan mo ito. So, it's of one. It's, it's one of us. It's one of us. Should give the best giving that you can offer to God. Give the best offering that you can offer to God. Nagiginig pa ko ba tayo? Bago mag-anniversaryo, give before our anniversary. Give. We are going 
we will use the money to pay the rent. And secondly, we will rent plenty of vehicles. We will rent plenty of vehicles so that we will pick up our brethren from different places, even those who are uh, invited. We will pick them up from their places, from their uh, respective places, and we will bring them to the place where, go, where we have, we are going to, to, to hold our anniversary. Nagiginig po ba tayo? Pagkatapos natin pick-upin sila, and we will bring back them again to their respective places. You know, I tell you, that's, a, that's lots of money. And not only that, of course, we will uh, give them a snack. Amen? Nagiginig po ba tayo? Bibigyan natin sila ng merienda. Bibigyan natin sila ng merienda. Pakakagin natin sila. Pipikapin natin sila. So bago mag-anniversaryo, kailan yun? December 21? Nobody is accepted. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, nobody is accepted. is your best the, the, the best that you can offer to God so give 6 pesos <laughs> at 1 peso nakikinig po at pag-uwa tayo I'm not, I'm not joking this is very very true now, before December 21 you and me will offer any amount to God and see to it that it is the best offering that you can offer to God Amen before our anniversary. Amen. And even I tell you, even I prophesy to you, if you will do that, you will experience overflowing blessings and overflowing promotions that you have never experienced before in your entire life. Kapag ginawa mo na ikaw ay nagkaloob ngayon na magbibigay na the best na hindi mo pa ginawa sa tanah Ibibless ka ng Diyos, ipopormot ka ng Panginoon sa isang promosyon at magpapala na hindi mo pa naranasan sa tanang buhay mo. If you will give your best before the end of this year, particularly before our anniversary comes, God gonna pour out so much blessing, so much promotion, that you will never experience in your entire life. Amen? So give your tithes and offerings faithfully. And not only that, and not only that, allow God to speak to your heart. Let God speak to your heart. God speak to, to my heart. What amount will I give to you? What amount will I give to, 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 to you? Don't just decide by your own mind. Just don't just decide by the dictate of your spouse, of your loved ones. No. Let God dictate the amount that you are about to give, that you are going to give. Okay? Are you agree? Amen. Give the Lord the best clap of praise. Hallelujah. Isip mo ang nagdidikta sa'yo o yung makulimutan mo ang nagdidikta sa'yo o puri hayang diktahan ka ng, ng mahal ko sa buhay ang oh, laki naman yan, ibibigay ko yan sayang yan ang pira, magnapolis na lang tayo maging korap na lang tayo ng mga government officials, sino-sino kaya yun sana hindi lang sila ma, you know, this corrupt government officials should not be uh, yung bang hindi lang sila ano bang, ano bang tamang tawag doon? Yung uh, malitis. Diba? Kundi talagang sila ay maparusahan. I pray that these corrupt government officials should be punished immediately. Now. Amen? Amen? Malakbakan natin si Lord. Bago dumating 
pagdating ang anibersaryo, magbigay ka ng pinakadapis sa pagbibigay. Narikinig pa ho ba tayo? At ibabalik na Diyos yan, sobra-sobra ba? Okay? Narikinig pa ho ba tayo? We have ministry of compassion, love in action. Don't sleep, ha? Don't sleep. Narikinig pa ho ba tayo? Hey! Are you listening? Are you still with me? Are you still awake? Okay. Nasaan ka ba ako? Nasaan na ako daya? Ito pa rin, siyempre. Ano ba sinasabi ko, Elma? Ano ba sinasabi ko na? Ha? Ha? This church has ministry of compassion, love in action. What does it mean? We are helping those who are in need. The poor and the needy. During our anniversary, it will be our Thanksgiving Day. We are going to give gifts to the poor. Amen? The amount that you're about to give, from that amount that you're about to give, we will give gifts to the poor. Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? Choose poor people from your neighbors, from your classmates, from your barangays. Choose poor people. Poor. P-O-O-R. Poor. As in poor. It's better if it is the poorest of the poor. Then bring them to church on anniversary. Bring them to the place where I go 